Hey guys, it's George. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a huge Miss Pap Autumn try and haul. So if you do want to see what I picked up, then please keep watching. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Okay, so before we like start the video, um, I just want to say I've never bought anything from Miss Pat before. Um, so I thought I'd give you guys like a new haul because I know I tend to do like pretty little things, Zara and Misguided, like the classic kind of brand. So I thought I'd try something a bit new. So I thought I would order from Miss Pat because I've followed them on Instagram for ages and I do like their stuff, but I've just never really tried it out. Um, so I thought we would do an order. So everything will obviously be first impressions, um, honest thoughts on the piece of clothing. So yeah. Let's get started. Um, the first thing I get, I got, I'm actually obsessed with. Um, it's this white fluffy top and trouser cohort. And if I go back, you can like, see how long the trousers are. They're like wide leg trousers and the top's just like a little crop top and they're really fluffy. And I just thought this would be like perfect loungewear to chill in in winter. So I got the top in a size 10 and this was, it was a really random price. It was like £7.92 or something. And then the trousers I got in a 10, no, I got these in an 8, this in a 10. The trousers are a size 8 and these were £13.50. So kind of random prices, but so soft, so comfy, so like nice for winter and lounging around the house in. So if you're looking for like cosy, comfy loungewear, then I'd really recommend this set. Like it's so nice. It just feels so soft. Um, so I'm a huge fan of this. And for the price, I think 20 quid for this is so good. So, so far, absolutely loving Miss Pat. Like huge fan of this. But next, we'll try on some more stuff and see what the rest is like. So the next thing I got is this like beige zebra print shacket. Um, so I feel like these shacket type coats are super in at the moment. So I thought I'd pick one up and I really like how it's got like the beige zebra print instead of like, I don't know, they had like green and purple, I want to say, at, in their colours. But I just thought the beige would go with like so many other things. And like, I just thought it was quite a nice like length. And I just thought it would be really handy. Um, so this was £24.50 and I did get it in a medium. But yeah, so £24.50 and I got this in a medium. I think it's quite a nice fit. Like it's oversized, but it's not like drowning me. Um, and I just thought like in my head this could look really nice with like those beige jeans. I got in my H&M haul and like a little jumper. Like I thought it could be a really nice outfit for winter. Um, however, like it is quite scratchy the material, like on my arms because I'm wearing that like off, I'm wearing that top which has no arms at the moment. It just feels like really scratchy and it's not very soft and comfortable. Um, and I guess like if I was wearing this, I'd probably have like a jumper on under it. But like if I wasn't, it's quite like prickly and it's scratchy. So I'm not 100% sure on this. Like I love the pattern and the way it looks, but I just think actually wearing it, like the quality is fine, but it's just quite scratchy and not very soft like the set I'm wearing under this like this is so soft and so comfy whereas this it's just a bit scratchy on my skin so I'm not 100% sure on it because you know you guys know me like love a bit of comfort um but like looks really nice so I'm like I'm a bit torn like do I go for the look or for the comfort it's kind of where I'm at but yeah I think it is a really cool jacket and it could look really nice in like autumn as a transitional piece but yeah I'm not 100% sure basically on this one. <laughs> so the next thing I got is this like shirt smock dress and it's got like the tiered layers. Um, I picked it up in a size 8 and it was like £16.20 I want to say. But I really like this and I really fancy like getting a shirt dress because like I've seen so many people on Instagram wearing like shirt dresses with like the sweaters or the sweater vests and I just think it's like a really nice like autumn piece with a pair of knee high boots. Like I just think it's such a vibe and I really like it. So I thought I'd pick up a shirt dress because I don't actually own one but that is because I think they don't really suit my body shape. Um, but this one I actually quite like. The only thing I'd say about it is it is so short. Like if I turn to the side like the bottom of my bum's here and it's just... There's not that much coverage and I know I say this a lot to you guys but like I really don't like going out and things that are too short because I just feel so exposed like if I was walking up the stairs or something you'll be able to see right up this dress. Um, and although I really like it and I think this is actually the first shirt dress I've tried on which I actually quite like on me. Um, I just think because it's too short I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing it so I wouldn't wear it. Um, but I mean take this into account if you're shopping like I'm five foot seven so if you're smaller than me it'll probably be absolutely fine but just because I am slightly on the taller side it is just a little bit um, not suitable for me but I do quite like how it's got these like tiered sections as well I just think it's quite like a cute dress um, and really nice I like the gathered sleeve but yeah just unfortunately it is a bit too short for me um, so next I've got this like long sleeved ribbed body and a pair of black flared jeans. If I just go back maybe be able to flare a bit more. They've got a small flare but they've just got this like cut out bit here. 
Um, so first I'll talk about the bodysuit. So I got this in a size 12 because I only had an 8 or a 12 um, and I thought with it being white I'd go for the 12 just because I'd prefer a bodysuit like this to be a bit bigger so then it's not see-through. But turns out if I come a bit closer I don't know if you guys can see like it is basically completely see-through and also what kind of baffled me is that this bit's really strained um like when i first put it on it like it looks a lot more gapy in person but there's like a big gape here and i was like i don't have big boobs i'm normally a size like eight or ten so the fact that it's gaping on someone like me who's not really got like a big chest like just that seems a bit strange um but this was like seven pounds something so it was quite cheap so i guess you get what you pay for sometimes but yeah, I think this will be going back. Like, it's really comfy and soft, but I just think with the gapingness, the see-throughness, I'm just not going to wear it. And there's no point keeping it if I'm not going to wear it. Um, and then next, the jeans. So, so this is interesting because the other week I did, like, a big pretty little thing order, but I didn't actually um, do a haul on it just because I didn't have time. I literally wanted to send it back, like, the next day. Um, and I ordered a pair of jeans, basically exactly like these. And they are also from Redial, um, which is the same brand the Pretty Little Thing used. So I was like, that's so interesting. They both use the same like brand of jeans to sell. Um, but yeah, the, the thing that I thought with the Pretty Little Thing ones is that they're so, too low rise for me. Like, I just feel they're not as flattering maybe on me. I think I prefer jeans which are a little bit high, a little bit more, you know, like bring your waist in. But they are quite comfy. So I got these in a medium and they were about £18. Um, which I think actually was cheaper than the Pretty Little Thing ones I bought, even though they're literally the exact same jeans from the exact same brand. So now that I know that, maybe I'll like look for my jeans on Miss Pap instead of Pretty Little Thing now. I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just think that's quite an interesting thing to know that they have like the same supplier of jeans. But yeah, so these are a medium. Um, I mean, they are comfy and they are true to fit. Like, there's a bit of room in them, so I could have got a small, I reckon, but I think a small might have been just a touch too small. Um, but yeah, I like them. I just think they're too low-waisted for me who's used to wearing like jeans like up here. <laughs> okay, and then the next thing I got is like kind of a bit of a rogue purchase. Um, so I saw this online and it's like the, it's like pyjama slash loungewear. And this little top and short combo and it's just like black and just says Miss Pap on it. And I just thought it would be quite like comfy like lounging around the house in because a lot of my shorts I have are so like bum vibes. Like they go like proper up the bum. Whereas these like cover your bum quite well which is really nice because... I don't know about you guys, but I don't like walking around with shorts that are like super short. Um, even if I'm at home, like, I just don't think it's appropriate. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd try this. And I actually really like this. So this was £9 and I got it in size 8. Um, and I think maybe I could have got a 10 just for it to be a bit, a little bit baggier. Because I guess it is a little bit on the tighter side. Like it's not tight. Um, like I've got a lot of like room around the arms. And like this bit's really stretchy. But yeah, I think maybe a 10 could have just been like that extra comfort level on the top um, because I thought the top was a lot baggier, like it looked baggier online, which is why I went for the 8, not the 10. But yeah, um, I mean, I really like this set. I think it's quite cute, really comfy for just lounging around the house in and only being £9, like a bargain in my eyes, like really cheap. So yeah, I do actually think this is quite cute and I do quite like this little set. And then the next thing I got is this little like gym loungewear co-ord. It's just like a sports bra type thing and a pair of leggings. Um, and I won't lie to you, on the website this is a completely different colour, um, let me see if I can just like kind of show you, do you know what I mean? Like it's a really pale grey on the website but, I mean in person it's like a dark grey, which is kind of rogue. But anyway, I got some size small and it is really comfy, um, the sports bra comes with little cups in but obviously you can take them out, which I would. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep this just because it's not the colour that I thought it was going to be and I just don't really think I'll get much wear out of it. It is really comfy though. Um, the leggings were a struggle to put on because like, the calf bit was so tight to get my leggings to start with. Um, I mean like once you're in it's fine. I mean they're quite flattering, quite comfy but just not really what I was after. I was after like a light sort of loungewear set more than like an active grey set. But yeah I mean it is cute and it is comfy so it just really depends what you're looking for. Um, yeah, I don't really have a huge amount to say on this other than it's just a completely different colour than the website. <laughs> I also, it's £25. I can't remember if I said that, but it's £25. <laughs> and then next I got this like white little crop top and I won't lie to you, I thought it was a lot longer when I ordered it because on the model it looked like it came down to like here. Um, but I picked it up in a size 10. It's that really nice double layered slinky material. Um, I have so many body suits in that material and it's just so comfy and like see through but like kind of supportive at the same time. So it's just really nice so i thought i'd get like a crop top version of it with a square neck um just because comfy can wear it under clothes yeah but um i think it's just a bit too short for me like it, i don't know i don't know i just think i want to start a little bit longer a bit more like a tank top kind of vibes but it was five pounds and i got this in a size 10 um 
yeah. I mean, it's a nice top, really comfy, really soft, a good size. I probably could have got an eight, it's a little bit big, but yeah, it's still like a really nice top and I would recommend it, but I just think it's a lot shorter on than it is on the model, is all I would say. But overall, it's an all right top. Okay, so the next thing I got is this like satin silk balloon sleeve backless top. Um, so I got this in size eight and it's in this really nice like blush pink nude colour and it's really silky and it was only £11, like that's really cheap and you know what, I kind of love it. Um, if I turn around you can see it's like completely backless, um, obviously I wouldn't wear a bra with it but for like, I don't know, I just couldn't be bothered to take my bra off when I tried it on. Um, but yeah, I love the big back cut out detail, I think that's so nice. I just think this is like a really like classy, nice date night kind of top, like the pair of jeans, some boots or heels I like this I think this is such a nice little top and it's really comfy it's really soft good size it's cheap I think it's quite a nice color I mean the sleeves are quite like oh, the sleeves are quite long um but I just think it's like something a bit different I think it's quite a cute little top I'm actually a really big fan of this and I did think it was a bit rogue for me like I didn't know if I'd actually like it but after trying on I think I'm a huge fan of it I quite like it <laughs> Okay, so the last two items I got aren't actually clothes items, um, they're like accessories and a pair of boots. So the first thing I got is kind of rogue and I think I kind of regret it. It's basically a satin face mask. Um, so I saw on Nelly London stories, if you guys follow her, she's great. Um, she basically has been wearing this silk mask um, and it's been really helping her skin because I don't know about you guys, but since having to wear masks and stuff, my skin's broken out so much. So, and she said hers has, so I'm wearing this silk mask, it's really helped. So I was like, oh, that's so cool. But the mask was 40 quid and I was like, oh, I just, I don't want to spend 40 quid on a mask. Do you know what I mean? Like maybe that's just me being like... I don't know, I just, no one really wants to spend £40 on a silk mask, do they? Like, it's just, it's quite expensive, so, yeah, anyway. I saw these, like, white satin ones on Miss Pat. Um, I mean, they have different colours as well. Um, but now that it's arrived, it is literally, like, a piece of satin, and, like, the inside of it isn't silky or satiny either. And that's obviously the bit that's more important. I mean, I could wear it the wrong way round. But then I think maybe because it's satin, it's just not really going to do much favours for my skin. It was, oops, it was £5, um, so obviously a lot more affordable than the £40 one. But it is just, yeah, like it feels really nice, it's really soft, but I'm also not sure how protective this would be either because it's literally so thin, so flimsy, and also with my makeup, that would get ruined. So I don't really think this through. I mean, I think they had a black one and like a peachy one, and maybe a white one and some other ones. But yeah, I think now that it's arrived, I'm like, this is probably a silly idea of buying a white satin mask is where I'm at at the moment, basically. <laughs> so this will probably be going back and I probably won't use this. So I actually just went to go put this back. Oh, the lighting's gone funny. Okay. So I actually just gone to go put this back in the packet to return it. And it does say it's 95% silk and 5% polyester. Wash by hand, no bleach, do not iron. So maybe it is a silk mask, but the inside's like that and all of them. So maybe for a five, like for five pounds, I do keep this and see if that does help my skin because obviously, like I've been having absolute disasters with my skin since wearing masks. But yeah, maybe that's changed my mind because it's ninety five percent silk. I didn't see that. Before. Okay, and then the last thing I got, I think, is going to be something that's like you're either going to hate it or love it because these are quite like a trend at the moment. These boots, but I know like some people probably will hate them. These, okay, they look quite big on camera, but they're like white over the ankle boot platform boots. And I got them a size six, which is my normal size. Well, I'm normally like a five and a half, but obviously they don't do five and a half. So it's a five or a six, so I should go for a six. Um, and these are 27 pounds. And you know what? I low key love them. I've tried them on and they're super comfy. But I just think this with like a little skirt and a jacket will look so cute. Or even under like flared, dra like flared trousers. I just think they're really cool. I know obviously white's not great for like autumn, winter, but as long as it's not muddy and not raining, I think these are sick. Like, I'm a huge fan of them. So I'm really happy I got these and yeah they're really comfy good size yeah that's basically what i have to say about them is that i really like them um but yeah so i mean that is literally my entire miss pat haul i feel like i did pick up quite a few things um i hope you guys did enjoy this video and like obviously always um honest in my reviews and whether i actually think something's worth the money or not um but yeah so as as like a first 
overall thought process about Miss Pap. I actually really liked it. I really like most of the stuff I got. Um, it did surprise me because I wasn't sure if it was going to be like a bit of a hit or miss, but I did really like it. So I think I'll probably do some more hauls from there in the future. Um, if there are any other brands that you guys do want me to check out, then do just leave them in the comments below and I will try my best to do that. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, if you did, <laughs> if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll see you next time.